think we've ever done a thumbnail. <clears throat> naked? Yeah. We should. Want to do one? We probably have. Partially we've naked. We've done over 2,000. We, what was the thing we did where we ripped off our shirts? We were so excited. Remember? That was early. Was that when we got the, the 100,000? I think it's when we got the 100,000. Yeah. It was. It was the 100,000 thing. and we, we ripped off our shirts. Fun fact. That video got copyrighted. Because we used. I'm getting space stuff Odyssey. on my personal channel. I got a copyright claim on something that I posted like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Weenies. Yep. Happens all the time. I get a copyright claim almost every day from something. It's ridiculous. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. Are you? I am. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm dick. You got a bad thing! <laughs> Break bones make him shiver. Uh, this is actually from Commando 3. Oh, we are going naked this time. I think we've reacted to the trailer and we've reacted to one fight scene from there. It's, I'm Commando right now. It's with um, Arnold here. Schwarzenegger. Right here. Commando. Right here. Uh, Vidyat Jamwal. Who he's, we've seen a lot of his videos. He's like known for martial arts and being naked. No, uh, so like, uh, like he's the guy. I think it was either him or Tiger, but I think it was him. Like the ones that jump through the car door. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, but he's like, especially like Tiger's known for like obviously being a great dancer and like all that kind of stuff. He's actually known for like knowing martial arts. Got it. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. Like so, Jackie Chan? Yes. Yeah. So this is another thing from his film Commando 3, another fight scene. We've reacted to one other, if you haven't watched that. I think it was probably over two years ago, honestly. Um, but we also have never seen a film of his, so what should be yeah. a first film of his that we should watch? Uh, down you know how we love the stunt work. Nice sound. Such, the bad guys always shoot so badly. I don't know why the bad guys always suck at shooting. <laughs> he actually did that. I bet he did. <laughs> CGI? Yeah. Oh, nice! Sir, we have a situation. Town has breached Alvin. Wow. Send the forces in! Kill the white actors! And shoot Curran! Shoot all the white guys! Yeah. It looks great in a man bun. <laughs> Ooh! Ow. That will really hurt. This is nice stunt work right there. Yep. Really good fight choreography. It takes weeks, if not longer, to yeah, choreograph really stuff like Yeah, really great fight choreography. Oh! Oh, this is beautiful. Like a dance. Oh! God, this is just great. Great stunt work. Nice. Oh. This is a beautiful fight sequence. Good grief. Oh! Woo! Oh. Ah, nice job. All these stunt performers are really, really great fight choreography, man. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was great. I was I was gonna say right as he walked over. I hope this is a one and done moment, like an Indiana Jones thing. Just boom. Break his hand. Break his arm. Oh yeah! <laughs> Go.
gorgeous fight choreography. Yeah, that was uh, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was that was like great fight choreography. Yeah, one of uh, the the white actors were just god awful. Awful makes just... you want to shoot everybody in casting for letting them get on screen. Yeah, but the the don't shoot casting. Wh whoever the stunt coordinator was, and it is actually very poignant for this week. Uh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful work. If you don't, I'm referring to Alec Baldwin. Uh, his film Rust and yeah, what, if it, if the it, tragedy it, that happened on that set yeah. um, and how weird it is but it shows you how important not only stunt coordinators but like the safety. prop masters yeah. and, and safety is on because obviously this had guns this had literally guns, death defying knives stunts. Uh, very very difficult stunt work and another thing that you need to take into consideration we'll, we will mention this regularly about what a demanding job it is for a cinematographer mm. Um, not just the day in day out grind that they have to do when they have to be where they are in certain positions, but in addition to the, the stunt people, the cinematography in this was very hands-on, on the ground, moving around, grueling and dangerous for them because the cinematographers are right there. Pieces, even stuff that breaks, like a stunt bottle, breakaway bottle, or breakaway glass in a window, breakaway tables, all of that stuff is still a physical substance that flies all over the place and there's nobody closer to the action than the cinematographer and the director. Usually it's just, sometimes in a scene like this, the director's in another room watching it on the screen, but the cinematographer is right there. Yep. And uh, so hats off to everybody who did this because this was a great fight sequence. Do you think he actually did this? Yeah, I do. I think he does all of his You think he was stuff. on wires though? I think he probably had some protective wires. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, obviously that guy can't be there. No, I think he had protective wiring. Now, maybe not. Maybe that was a legit stunt they rehearsed and practiced and just did over and over again. But I think he was. I think he was wired. Yeah, because that was that was great. I believe he could actually do it because he's a yeah. fantastic martial artist. He can do it. It's he, just for safety reasons. I bet they wired him just not for him, but also case. the other guy. That's yeah. a, that's a dangerous dangerous move. Because obviously, like just like he broke his neck there, that stunt actor can literally break his neck. Uh, yeah. Doesn't. Who does the podcast? Um, is it Danny Radcliffe or is it? I can't remember if it's Danny Radcliffe or or um, Elijah Wood. One of their um, stunt actors uh -huh. got like paralyzed doing a oh, stunt, no. and now they do like a, a podcast together or something like that. Oh wow! Together, but I didn't know that. It's a dangerous job. Because Very you're doing job. the, you're literally doing the stuff that they do in the film. Yeah, I was reading an article on Variety about all of the things that people are talking about in the industry, about this tragedy with this the film Rust. Yeah, with Alec Baldwin. and and how how first of all that should it just it shouldn't it should, happen. It should never happen. Um, and Alec Baldwin apparently, I mean, he was told beforehand that there was a, the weapon was free to use, which is what happens with most actors. They're told by props and everybody that it's it's safe to use but in this article it talked about how dangerous the industry is because things are getting blown up all the time and people are getting thrown all over the place and there's been i think since 1990 uh, it's somewhere in that neighborhood there's been 45 deaths by stunt people in the industry in some way shape or form yeah uh because what they do is so crazy dangerous yep with even with all the precautions so this was Aside from all of the danger, this was just absolutely beautiful fight choreography. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Oh, um, it was ballet, man. Yeah, it's and that's what that's what good choreography is because it's literally when you're training for months. This is what all the what you don't see in the Marvel films. They train for months, months. on or these like scenes. The 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 um, because it's, Darth Maul fight yeah. sequence that that looks as good as it does because everybody knows everybody's moved. I mean, I did a sword fighting sequence in the play Camelot. Mm -hmm. Not a complex sword fighting sequence. Mm -hmm. It was two of us against one guy. And everything had to, right? We spent four full eight hour days rehearsing a very simple, it doesn't last more than 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. And still, occasionally, some, we were using real swords, so occasionally somebody made a mistake and you accidentally stab somebody in the hip. Uh, so first, you just, they make it look that easy, 
Mm -hmm. the, the weeks of preparation that lead up to just a few seconds on screen is, is And he's incredible. extremely talented. And again, it's why stunt workers ought to be honored by oh. the Motion Picture Academy. Everybody else is doing it, including SAG. It's time for the Academy to start giving Oscars to stunt people. It's ridiculous. Oh. Um, but yeah, let us know more fight scenes from him. Yeah. Uh, and other, and uh, what should be his first film that we watch? Because uh, I do hear a lot of like, in terms of, they're, comp they're compared a lot like him and Tiger. Right. But they say, one, he's a better martial artist than Tiger, but also a better actor. Well, have they done one together that we could kill two birds with one stone? No idea. Uh, you guys can let us know uh, what of his we should watch, but also send more fight scenes. Yeah. We'd love to see more from him down below. Just